Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my weekly forecast for April 18, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to support this channel over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, the last last three days of the last week, basically this week from, from uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday were really good. Market's not open today, so so uh, that's why we don't have any data for today. But we did break out of this triangle, and uh, since then we basically have been rallying to the upside. If we look at the weekly chart, we can see that we found support down here at ninety-three dollars, and now we're trading at one hundred and six dollars. If we manage to take out these candlesticks here. That is roughly at 112 to 116. Then we may go all the way to the very highs here. But we'll run into a major resistance up here at the 119, 120, give or take. That is where we'll find our top of the Bullinger band, and that's where we most likely will pull back a bit. If you look at MACD, it is still bullish. It has not crossed the signal line. If you look at the stochastic, it has crossed the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. And the RSI has also turned around. So this market has definitely turned around. So there are a few problems in for the long run. And that is, for, for, for instance, that uh, a recession in general across the world is expected. China, COVID in China is definitely a problem and economic activity will most likely slow down in the foreseeable future. And of course, that is always negative for energy, especially for oil. You can just go back to what basically happened back in 2000 and from 2006, give or take, this is 2007, all the way to the summer of 2008, it went from give or take it uh, 51 dollars a share and dollars a barrel all the way up to 137 dollars a barrel and then just in a few months it absolutely crashed all the way down to 31 dollars a barrel so this is the financial crisis and a recession will have a similar effect of course not as drastic as this as this basically wiped out one third of uh, global trade within just a matter of 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 days so if we're going to see um economic decline then this should as well decline over time doesn't mean that we won't um, go to 120 again it just means that um, expecting 200 300 dollars uh, a barrel uh, that is probably very unlikely because that will also cause a lot of demand destruction if we look at natural gas, we can look at the daily chart first. This is gone completely parabolical. If you, for example, just look at the angle of this, then of this rally, it is at 61 uh, degrees. At this angle here, which is it's 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 getting inverted. If you just scroll out, you can see how ridiculous uh, that that basically looks. So we can basically change it, but from this standpoint, it is getting fairly ridiculous. Uh, and that basically means that just some kind of bad news for this market will make this market tumble. So it's just hanging on an edge. And we have seen several times, we saw it here, here and here, but the market continued to rally because there was continuation of, uh, of bad news, if I can say it which made this market go up for example the, um, the war in in eastern europe so uh, putin had for example yesterday um, a message that europe they were going to change their their um, focus from europe to to asia and that of course made this market go uh, go four percent higher but if you look at the rsi for example it is significantly overbought it is also significantly outside of the Bollinger Band, and those two things together are really bad. If you get just some kind of bad news, if you get, for example, that European countries are going to uh, buy 
uh, natural gas from from Russia for the foreseeable future. This will tumble tumble immediately towards six dollars, give or take, or the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly five point eight dollars. We can also see um, these two um, candlesticks here. This is probably also where we'll find a major um, support, as this was resistant in the past. But at this point, at this point, we have blown past this, blown past that. And we are at the 7.3 at this current stage. Uh, technical indicators are all extremely bullish. And if we we basically have to look at the long term here to see precedent where we basically will find a next resistant. Uh, we have these massive spikes here. This was back in 2000 and in 2000 in the dot com era uh, bubble. This was in the financial crisis. Um, and then we have other spikes due to very extreme cold conditions but it is within this area here that we find a lot of noise of course it is possible to go all the way up to 13 but you will have pullbacks in between if you look at these here you will have pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher which i also expect for this it will pull back towards the middle of the bullish band before it going higher so long term yes Definitely, it can go significantly higher. There's nothing, um, nothing uh, that prevents that. But we're also getting into a territory here uh, where we will most likely see this um, pullback. For example, here the RSI was at 80, uh, 84. We have not the RSI for this week, and due to the fact that we have been rallying roughly 17%, then this should be uh, at around 80 in the RSI when the market opens on Monday. So yes, going to complete the parabolical. Also in the weekly chart, we can see that we have um, MACD is very bullish. Stochastic is also very bullish. And the RSI is also or bought in the weekly chart. So overall trend, yes, it's very bullish. But also here, it's significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. And you can see what happened last time we did that. It fell all the way down to the 50 moving average. If we were to do the same thing here, it will have a pullback to 4.4. If 4.4 breaks, then the 200 moving average comes into play, which is down here at 3. But that is also being highly optimistic as the world has changed. There is higher demand for US gas as European countries are basically buying more European gas. The U.S. gas, and they're buying um, Russian gas, and therefore demand is basically kicking this to the upside. But we have also an uh, example here where this got way out of hand, way outside of the bullish band, and then it crushed all the way down to the middle of the bullish band, rallied a little bit, and then it crushed all the way down to the very bottom here. So, yes, I'm just looking for some kind of bad news, and then I'm going to short this. But... Uh, if this continues, if um, if um, if more demand comes from uh, from Europe uh, um, towards uh, U.S. gas, then of course I will start buying this. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and good weekend.